Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I have this full on drugstore makeup look. I'm hoping that the camera lighting looks good because I wanted to do like a get ready setting with me kind of like without having my vanity in the background like I'm using my vanity if you know what I mean. I don't know. Um, so if I like how this comes out and I like the way it looks then this is how I'll do my get ready's with me and then like if I'm doing just regular um, like tutorials I'm just doing for fun um, I'll flip it and have the vanity in the background instead of this background um, I just want to kind of switch it up a little bit I don't want to get it too boring for the background but I just did this um, blue winged liner look um, if you want to learn how to get this look then please just keep watching and I'll see y'all next time I'm gonna go ahead and start off with the Olay complete all-day moisturizer with sunscreen has a um, SPF 15 um, this is for combination oily and then I'm gonna use the Maybelline New York baby skin um, instant pore eraser I can open it. I'm just gonna put it all over so it can fill in all the lines and give me a smooth canvas. I haven't even took any of these things out of the packaging yet, so <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and do my eyebrows and I'm gonna use the Maybelline Brow Precise Micro Pencil. It's in soft brown. It kind of reminds me of the the packaging sort of reminds me of the um, Anastasia Beverly Hills uh, brow wiz kind of because it has a spoolie a spoolie on one end and then oh except for it's not pointy um, and then the pencil on the other end I'm gonna use this Rimmel London match perfecting concealer it's a two-in-one a concealer and highlighter this is in fair Looks like I've been shaping my brows before I fill them in so they can be the same shape I go like across this is really pigmented I'm barely putting any pressure on it. So I'm just going to outline the bottom and then I'm going to go to the top and outline the top. Well, some of these products I've never, all right, some of these products I've never used so I don't know how this looks going to come out. It might come out really grungy <laughs> and gross so I don't know how it will come out. I'm going to go ahead and add some concealer to the bottom of this. And I'm also going to use this concealer to prime my eyes. There's a little too much, so I'm just going to dab that on the brush. Okay, so now I'm just going to do my eyeshadow. I'm going to go in with the Rimmel London Stay Matte Powder, Transparent Powder. I'm just going to set the concealer that I put. So now I'm going to go in with the ColourPop Eye Spy as a transition shade. And I'm just going to go in the crease. Good. I'm just gonna get another big brush and I'm just gonna make sure that I have this all blended out. Okay, so now I'm gonna go in with the L'Oreal Infallible Eyeshadow. This is an iced latte. It looks like this. 
a brush. I'm just gonna ooh, put this on my lid. I've used this before, but I forgot how crazy pigmented these things are. What is it, mama? Then I'm gonna go back in with the same brush I was using. I'm just going to blend this out. Next, I'm gonna go in with this LA Colors Graphics Eyeliner. Um, this is in navy. Um, it's just a blue one, a blue eyeliner. Has a little tip. Look at this wing. Okay, so I got the wing liner. I think it looks okay. This gets like a little dry though and it like flakes off so it's kind of hard. Okay, so the next thing I'm going to do are these. I'm going to put on some lashes and the lashes I'm going to put on are the uh, Salon Perfect um, 615 lashes. And the glue I'm going to use is going to be the Salon Perfect uh, eyelash glue also. So far I like how this look is coming out. I do like the wing eyeliner. The eyeshadow I think is already creasing because I don't think I put enough um, concealer. I'm going to go on to my foundation. And the foundation that I'm going to use is the uh, Wet n Wild Photo Focus Foundation. I picked Nude Ivory, which uh, I don't know if this is going to be, I think it's going to either be, I think it's going to be too light, but uh, we can fix that. So, and oh, it has this weird like spatula thing. And I feel like this might be a good color. And I honestly think this is my color. I don't know if this oxidizes. Um, oh my god, yeah, and it looks really smooth. Like on my skin. It's like super smooth. So like one spatula is enough. <laughs> I don't, I mean. And I feel like it's matte, like, because it's dry, oops, because it's drying, I feel really fast. It dries super fast. Now I'm going to go in with the Maybelline New York uh, Volume Express uh, Colossal. This is Waterproof Cat Eyes. I want to deepen in my crease, deepen my crease a little bit. So I'm going to use my blush, and I'm going to use it's medium coral. I'm going to try the Airspun uh, loose face powder. This is in translucent, and this is extra coverage. If y'all can hear DJ in the background, I'm really sorry. So I'll make sure I don't have any creases. Oh, I like this. The smell it has to it, I can't, I like the smell, but I don't like the smell. So I think what I'm gonna do is get this poof, and like pat everything on me and see how this comes out. Oh, it looks pretty good. The next thing I'm gonna do is use the, uh, what is this? The L'Oreal True Match Super Blendable uh, Powder in Cocoa. Um, this is my first time buying one of these, so. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna contour. Oh shit. Oh Jesus. 
Look at my forehead. Oh my god. Okay. Where's my little blending brush at? Guys. I thought <laughs> this was gonna be a good color. And it's too dark. Um, so now I'm going to contour my nose, but I'm not even going to, I just like barely dipped it in. And it's barely getting dipped in there and look at my nose. So now I'm going to go on with the Fit Me blush and I'm going to go in uh, medium cor coral. Um, and now I'm going to go in with the, well actually first I'm going to go ahead and finish the bottom, my bottom lashes. And move on to my highlight and the highlight I'm going to use is going to be the Wet n Wild um, Mega Glow Highlighting Powder and this one's in Crown of My Canopy. Oh my god. Guys! I'm going to actually dip this brush in there and put it in my inner corner. Okay, so um, the only thing I need to is um, I'm going to add eyeliner, which I've used this one before. Um, I've just been, just been needing to buy a new one. This is the Maybelline Master Precise Skinny, and this is in Refined Charcoal. I'm going to go ahead and go in with my Rimmel London um, Spice Lip Liner and line my lips. This has been my favorite lip combo, so and I'm going to go in with the um, Rimmel London Lasting Finish Lipstick by Kate. Um, this is in number 45. It's a beautiful nude. I'm going to go and add mascara. That's it. I hope y'all enjoy this look and I will see y'all next time.